What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow, like always, chilling with the two little fellas, Averno, Atlantis. And today, I just want to show, uh, share, and thank um, people for uh, my birthday loot. Um, my birthday was on April 14th, which was a Wednesday. Uh, funny enough, uh, I had looked at the calendar to see when my birthday felt, when it was going to fall on, and it was a Wednesday, and it's kind of like, uh, then uh, this kid that I work with, um, he's into anime and shit. And he knows I like comics. And anyways, he like he had told me he's like, hey, you know, if you're ever in the Southern California Edison, <laughs> Southern California area, then you should uh, check out this place called Frankincense. And I'm like, shit, man. I started going. I went to Frankincense for the first time in like 2002. But anyways, uh, I you know him saying that just sparked it in my mind and I'm like Wednesday and I, so I look on the website and I was like that's right Frankenstein's open on they're open on Saturday Sunday and Wednesday so that's what I decided to do I, me and my girl went to uh, City of Industry we went to uh, Frankenstein and then we spent the night in Manhattan Beach and I checked out a comic shop in Manhattan Beach that was pretty cool so I'm gonna show that the birthday stuff stuff I bought at Frankenstein and uh and at the comic book shop in Manhattan Beach. So first I want to show this. My big bro got this for me. He actually got it at Frankenstein. Um, kind of a weird coincidence that he went to visit his in-laws and I guess they lived not too far, so he went. I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, thanks to my bro, my big bro, Earn Dog. I know he never watches these, but still. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if you could tell in the it's like a three-dimensional. It was hard for me to figure. I couldn't tell what it was when I was first looking at it, but then I can see it's uh, it's like venom ripping through the cover of the first issue of Lethal Protector. Let me get that out of the way. Get my regular lighting back on. So there was that, and then um, my partner Warlock. Um, he shot this to me. Badass cover. People were just uh, wanting to give me Venom gifts this year, I guess. Which is, that's always fine by me. But I, uh, you know, I'm a I'm a big fan of pro wrestling, so that that uh, that's a cover I can really get into. And that Frankenstein, I got uh, one of my favorite spots at Frankenstein is the AWS booth, the alternative wrestling shop. I wanted to get some Lucha merchandise. It was hard for me to choose, so I decided uh, I was gonna get one of the classics, one of the all-timers, Mil Mascaras shirt. It has, it has so much cool shit in there. I love that, that AWS booth. If you ever get a chance, go check it. Go check that out if you're into wrestling like I am. Um, then I got this. Ray Phoenix, one of my current faves. I almost got a... I wanted to get... There's a Pentagon shirt that I wanted, but I, they didn't have my size, so I was like, ah, shit. But uh, Ray Phoenix is also one of my faves, too, so I was like, that's cool. I'll take that. Um, and then I got this uh, Blitz 2000, because we still play the 64 at my house all the time. Um, this one you could play four-player on, so I grabbed that. They let me get it for 20 instead of 25. We've been playing that. That, that game is awesome to play four-player. Oh, and then one other non-comic I got at Frankie's was uh, The Untouchables um, vinyl. Um, I limit myself as far as my vinyl collecting to just, just to movie soundtracks and original scores. Because if not, it'll just, it's just too much, you know. I still buy CDs and... And... Uh, it's just too much. I would, be, I would just spend too much money, so I don't. There's too much music that I like that it would just be, it would be impossible. So I keep it. I keep it limited to uh, 
original uh, scores and and motion picture soundtracks. So these are the books I got at at Frankenson. I got these at a couple different booths, but they were all they were still all 50 cent books. Uh, I found a couple of these uh, Nomad Girl Without a World um, two and three. Probably the, the two issues that aren't worth anything, but I like those covers, and uh, I I don't know. I thought my boy Warlock might have the first uh, an issue or two, so I was gonna see if we could try and put together a set. But I mean, fifty cents, I figured I couldn't go wrong. Um, I got this because I thought it looked cool. I didn't pre-order it, and for fifty cents at a four ninety nine cover price, I, I was like, that's not even old. Um, this is just run filler trying to put together a run of Atlas. There's a real dirty white cover, but uh, my partner Warlock, um, I told him he, he wants to practice on his cleaning covers, uh, those white covers. So I was like, yeah, you, I, I just want to read it anyway, so I don't worry about it if he fucks it up or not. And then if he, if not, if it comes out if it comes out clean like the last one he cleaned for me, then shit, even better. And then this is also run filler. Um, Iron Fist, The Living Weapon, uh, Kari Andrews. I grabbed a couple copies of this. Um, I shot one to my partner Warlock. I already have it. It's old school Donny Cates. I'll probably give this one to my brother because it's a good story. I like it. Um, it goes for a little bit. This one uh, was kind of messed up. I actually left a couple copies too. I didn't take all of them because... I want to just uh, hopefully get some uh, good comic karma heading back my way and then this is a different um, Agents of Atlas series with the Terror of the Jade Claw uh, storyline that's part one of it um, I have a couple other issues of that storyline story arc so again it's just run filler I saw people showing this a while back and I thought it looked cool I missed out on it on the pre-order so for 50 cents I grabbed it they had multiple copies but I only took the one I found this Garth Ennis John McRae uh, the demon I've always meant to check out Garth Ennis's Garth Ennis's um, demon stuff and I just figured this looked like a good jumping on point I don't know why this particular issue because I had a chance to buy them before and I was like oh, I don't know I don't know where I should start and I just hesitated uh, this is just run filler I'm, I'm trying to get like mo I'm mostly trying to focus on like the first 10 or so issues of uh, the four original milestone series so this is um, icon number five I didn't have this one and blood syndicate I'm going for like the first 20 issues just because I found most of them for cheap so there's number 12 and that's all the stuff I got from uh, from Frank and Son. So, like I said, I went, uh, spent the night in Manhattan Beach, and the next day I went to this shop, a really cool shop called Comic Comics Bug or Comic Bug. I forgot something like that. It was a real good shop. They had um, like. Their new comics, they, they have everything, all the all the independents. Um, they have like the last four weeks worth of, of issues for every title just on the wall on the wall right there still. Um, I mean of course some shit's gonna be sold out, but whatever they didn't have sold out. Then they had a big section of uh, uh, half off graphic novels, a big section of um, dollar books and what else they have it was a good shop man they just had they checked all the boxes for what you want in the shop so I got um, I got this for half off Batman the Dark Prince Charming number two of two I have number one already so I was happy to find that I got number one also for half off 
Um, this, I did not get any kind of discount on it, paid full price for that. I never seen this before. I like um, um, Alexis Zirit's art. So it's just like, damn, why is it number one? Too bad I couldn't get number three. And now I look on uh, my comic shop, I realize I could have pre-ordered. I never even noticed the Floating World comics on the as a as a publisher that was that carried by them. So I got those. Maybe one day I can find those other issues. And then these are all uh, just dollar books I got that I don't know. Maybe they're not they're not all worth a dollar, but I'm not no regrets. I was real happy to find that. Um, Space Riders. This is from the newest series. Again, Alexis Zirit. Um, this is from the Vortex of Darkness, the most recent series. I never, I never see those in the cheap bin, so I grabbed it. Um, this is Run Filler for this Captain America series. Uh, there's number two. There's number nine, the Dimension Z shit or whatever it's called. Hey, that one's folded pretty bad. This is again, these are reader copies. I never seen this. Thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, Paul Pope, the Invi Invincible Haggard West, number 101, final issue. I think it's just a one shot. Um, I got no idea what that's about, but it looks kind of cool. I have such mixed feelings with Paul Post. Sometimes I look at his stuff and I just think, I don't like the way it looks. And then other times I see, and I'm like, man, that looks pretty fucking cool. So I don't know, man. I just have mixed mixed feelings when it comes to that guy's art. Um, this is, Ren, again, Renfiller, uh, Robin War number two. I already have number one. I like that Robin, Robin, uh, what was the other series? Robin War, it was called... We Are Robin. I like that series. I'm trying to complete that also. Now, I went against my... Um, I didn't trust my list, and I ended up buying an extra of this. But I don't mind. It's Young Master. I might pass it on to someone else. This is an Alex Nino issue. Alex Nino issue. Um, let me give you a quick look at... Alex Nino, Alex Nino art. He's a Filipino artist. Um, I, I had just learned of him not, not not too long ago, and I really like his stuff. Especially this series, this samurai stuff. I don't think this really does it this way of viewing it really does it justice if you're holding it in your hands and you can get a, a good look at it it's um it's really good really good art i found this um stealth number two and i was like well i got stealth number one so i'm gonna check it out hopefully i like those issues i'll try and hunt down the rest of them and then the last book that i got was a uh grendel tales number two of three um I got this because I just, I like Grendel in general, but what got me, sold me on it was, um, right here in the credits, as you can see, it's, uh, Pat McEwen, Pat, Pat McEwen, and painted, painted art and lettering by Dave Cooper, who I'm a big fan of Dave Cooper's comic stuff, big fan of Gun Fury, and his and any of the work that he did at Aerosol. Uh, so that's what sold me that on it for a dollar, even though it's not in good condition. And those are reader comics for me. Um, so I'm gonna be looking on the lookout for one and one and three of Grandel Tales Homecoming. I have a couple other Grandel Tales series that I'm trying to put together where I just need like one or two issues. So, anyways, um, thank you to Thank you, uh, Warlock, for the, the the birthday present. Thanks to my bro, Erndog, for the Christmas present. Um, I had a great time for my birthday. It was great to go back to Frank's. Haven't been there in a long time. 
great weather at Manhattan Beach. I just had a, I just had a really good time, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so you guys know the deal. Uh, if you got good taste, hit the like button. Show your friends. Tell all your homies. Uh, hit me in the comments. And uh, like I always say, get off of YouTube, read some fucking comics.